say you'll know when you find her when your heart starts racing faster than your mind does and mine does oh yes mine does it's nearly bursting at the seams and I don't mind it there's no easy way of knowing I just couldn't help but show it We were busy throwing arrows in the dark When I saw love, love, love in your eyes I saw love, love, love in your eyes You stole my heart And I don't mind Cause I saw love, love, love in your eyes Hi babe Today is the day that we have been waiting for. I can't wait to marry you. I can't wait to go into this next chapter with you and enter marriage and enter parenthood with you. I know you're gonna be the best husband and the best daddy. I love you. Of all those fairy tales you thought you left behind you. There's no easy way you know it. I just couldn't help but show it Cause you were busy throwing arrows at my heart But sometimes you just know it Even though it's hard to show it Cause a fire never starts without a spark And baby you're my spark Hey babe, I'm so glad today's finally here And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you And I hope you have a great time tonight being sober <laughs> Hey, Robbie, Emma, today you've come to be married to affirm and promise your commitment to one another as husband and wife. Today is an acknowledgement and display of your pledge to love one another, not just today, but also tomorrow and for the rest of your days. I would like to now share a reading. It's called Maybe. Maybe we're supposed to meet the wrong people before we meet the right ones. So when they finally arrive, we are truly grateful for the gift we have been given. Maybe it's true that we don't know what we've lost until we lose it. But it's also true that we don't know what we're missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't have the best of everything, but they make the best of everything that comes their way. And maybe the art of true love is not about finding the perfect person, but about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. My whole life, my mom has been telling me that I need to learn patience. And then I met a Lopez. <laughs> and now I get a Lopez baby. I still haven't found the patience, but you definitely have less than me. <laughs> so I feel a little better. <clears throat> Simply writing just a few sentences about how much I love you just doesn't seem like enough, but I hope this gives a little glimpse. I often think about when we first met and how far we have come. We've laughed and cried together. I've had my toughest days with you and my absolute best days with you. This last year has been such a whirlwind of emotions and I feel so lucky to be able to call you my best friend and, get, and to get to marry a man like you. In just a few short months, I get to walk with you through another stage of life, parenthood. And I can't wait to see the amazing dad that you're gonna be. And to see the perfect little boy that we get to raise together. As our lives are changing and our relationship grows, I promise to always shave your back. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> to remind you why you were in the kitchen, to never stop playing What Are the Odds with you, to support all of your crazy dreams, to always show you where you misplace stuff that is right in front of your face, 
to never yeah. stop traveling the world with you, to love you through every hardship we face, and most of all, to never stop choosing you. I will choose you again and again at the start and finish of every day, no matter the season of our lives, no matter how angry or upset you make me. I choose you to struggle and succeed with, to fight and make up with, and to love and grow old with you. It will always be you, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Time is a strange thing. I feel like I've known you my entire life. I'll never forget the excitement I felt when we first met and I first saw that sparkle and those pretty blue eyes, eyes of yours. And the excitement hasn't stopped. The future looks so bright for us and our soon to be family. You've been my best friend, mentor, and my greatest challenge. <laughs> but most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could have ever imagined. I believe in you now and the person you will grow to be. I promise to be faithful, supportive, and to always make our family, our family's love, happiness, and protection my priority. I love you. Let's pray. Today as your two hearts unite, may God enter into your holy union and consecrate the love that brings you here. From this day forward, may the Lord remain with you always. Keep your love eternally young and your faith forever strong. Amen. So you two have united two families and two sets of friends. I ask them now that they will support your marriage with joy, love, and optimism throughout your lives. With the blessing of everyone who is here present today, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Lopez. You may kiss the bride. I met Robbie in high school. We came a lot closer since 2018. Since then, we've both grown more into men, sharing insights, giving each other perspective. However, nothing compared to how much Emma whipped him into shape. In all seriousness, I remember the excitement I felt when Robbie came to me with a gleeful, giddy sound in his voice, talking about the beautiful, smart, funny woman he met. And I said, how did that happen? They seemed to instantly have a connection. You could really just feel the chemistry between them when you're in their presence. It helps that Emma was the perfect mixture of strong-willed and patient, but not just with Robbie, with his entourage too. By the way, thanks for the crazy amount of times I passed on your couch after dinner. <laughs> Fast forward a couple years and here I am speaking at their wedding. How beautiful. So I wanted to raise a toast to everybody, to prosperity, health, and happy for this beautiful couple and their family to come. Cheers. Hi everyone, my name is Jessie. I'm Emma's oldest sister, and I'm the one who got drawn out of a literal hat to be her maid of honor. First of all, congrats to the bride and groom, Emma and Robbie. We are all so excited for the two of you. Emma and I go way back, 25 years to be exact. I was nine when she made her entrance into the world, most likely tripping on something and getting injured on her way out. I'm sure a lot of you know here a lot of you here know how unlucky Emma has always been when it comes to random injuries. Some really special incidents that come to mind are when she smashed her head off of a tampon machine in the girls' locker room, and another time when she split her eyebrow open after running into a tennis pole. 
Thankfully, her luck took a turn when she met Robbie. She and Robbie met on a dating app and their connection was so instant that they not only had a great first date, but they didn't want to leave each other's side for a whole weekend. He has a sense of humor to perfectly compliment Emma's and he has this amazing ability to sleep on command, which will set him up. <laughs> yeah, he does. Which will set him up to be the perfect napping buddy for baby Mateo. Robbie is motivated, determined, energetic, and Emma's biggest fan. He's the perfect travel companion and adventurer. Your lives will be forever exciting, the biggest adventures yet to come, and we're all here to love and support you through any highs and lows that come your way. So everyone raise your glass to toast Mr. and Mrs. Robbie Lovett.